Hello students, today we are going to learn uh, the topic interpreting linear functions from SAT. Okay. The first question is with you. Equation is given a equal to 27 plus 0 0.3 C. Where a is the amount of potassium chloride which can be dissolved in 100 gram of water at C degree Celsius. So C is the temperature of water. Okay. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 0 0.3? So they want to know 0 0.3 is what? If you realize this is actually like equation of a straight line which is equal to y equal to mx plus c. Here y is working like a and c is like x. Okay. So m is actually 0 0.3. Now, by definition, m is what? By definition, m is rise over run, right? Rise over run means change in y over change in x. Okay. In this case, change in y means change in a over change in c. That is the definition of gradient, right? So, 0 0.3 over 0 0.1 is actually change in a over change in c means when the temperature of water changes by 1 degree Celsius, the amount of potassium chloride will change by 0 0.3 grams. So, which option? Approximately 0 0.3 grams of this can dissolve in early frozen? No. Maximum amount of potassium chloride that this? No. Amount of potassium chloride that can dissolve in water increases by 1 gram for increase in this right okay let me check the third option amount of potassium chloride can dissolve increases by this much grams for every one degree celsius increase in temperature yeah it has to be option d change in temperature is one change increase in temperature is one with the increase in potassium chloride by 0 0.3 grams so, option D is the correct answer, right? Okay, fine. So, let's select option D. Okay, moving on to next question. Have a look at this. Equation is given this. C is the total cost. Okay. To produce B books, B is the number of books. What is the meaning of 1.5? Again, same concept. 1.5 is nothing but grade. Okay. So, we have to find when did the landlord buy the home. Okay. The time when he bought the home must be when the income is zero. Right. Means i value has to be 0, we can get the m value. Means at the time of buying the home, the income produced must be 0. So that is why we are putting i as 0, right? So 18 plus m will be 0. So we will give m equal to negative 18. By solving this equation, we will get m equal to negative 18. Now m is negative 18 means 18 months before this time, right? Because they said the negative value of m represents the m number of months before this time. So, 18 months before January 1st, 2010. So, option A should be the right answer. Fine. Move on. Have a look at this question. Profit P in dollars, okay, to amusement park serving G guests, so G is the number of guests, over one day. What is the minimum number of guests that need to be served in order to make a positive profit? Okay, profit has to be positive means the P value has to be greater than zero. Okay, let me write down the P value. 47.4 bracket 
g minus 174.5 so this has to be greater than 0 we'll solve for g so g minus 174.5 has to be greater than 0 so g is bigger than 174.5 so what is the the first integer value which is possible for g they are asking the minimum number of guests so the first number which is greater than 174.5 is 175 option c should be the right answer i hope you are understanding guys okay let's move on to next question the mass m in grams of a piece of marble so m is the mass of piece of marble rock tumbler for t minutes so t is the number of minutes if you realize i am not trying to understand uh, the science behind it okay what is mass what is rock tumbler we don't need to know after how many minutes in rock tumbler does the piece of marble disintegrate by reaching a mass of 0 grams question is very clear very easy they have given the mass of 0 grams and they are asking how many minutes does it take. Put m as 0. So we will get 14 bracket 11 minus t. So t is 11. Option b should be the right answer. It will take 11 minutes. Right. Let me check. Right. Okay. Let's try next question. This equation has been given. We'll understand what L and T means. Human cell has entered the S phase and is replicating a chromosome. The remaining length L, okay, L is the length, remaining length in millimeters. That needs to be replicated T hours after the start of human cells. S phase is given by this equation. Okay, no problem. T is the uh, hours. After how many hours, so the question is asking the value of t, has the entire length chromosome been replicated? So entire length being replicated means there is no remaining length, right? No remaining length means L value is 0. Hope it makes sense. So putting L as 0, we have to find the value of t. 6 bracket 8.1 minus t, so of course simple equation. So, T is 8.1. Option C should be the right answer. Okay. Have a look at this question. The amount A in dollars, A is the amount in dollars, earned for lending a stack on mar stock on margin and holding it for M months is given by this equation. Okay. How many months of holding are needed for the earnings to be zero dollars? Okay. The amount A has is the earning and they said earning has to be zero dollars. So A value is zero. So when would A be zero? I'm just putting in here. So M should be what? 88. Hope it makes sense guys. So they have asked after how many months? So after 88 months, the earning should be zero dollars. Now we are uh, a level higher um, in this topic. Have a look at these questions seriously now. Anthropologists can predict the height of human based on the length of their femur. The relationship between human's height and this is this. So H is the human's height in centimeter and length of femur in centimeter is F. Okay, so they have given this. One anthropologist found the femur in two different people. One femur me measured 22 centimeter and the other femur measured 23 centimeter. What is the difference in their heights? So with these femur values, we have to find the difference in their heights. Okay, That should be simple. If I focus at 2.72, 2.72 is actually working like slope of straight line which is rise over run in this case change in h which is like y thing right 
rise over run. So change in H over change in F. Change in H over change in F is actually 2.72 over 1. What does it mean guys? It means when the femur increases by 1, okay, the height increases by 2.72. Okay, great. That's what the question had asked that when the height in centimeter changes from 22 to 23, it means the, the length of femur is increasing by 1. So when the length of femur increases by 1, the height will increase by 2.72. Option B should be the right answer. Right? Okay. Next question. Have a look. This equation has been given. The cost C in dollars to ship N cars. Okay. C is the cost in dollars. And N is number of cars, right? In US and all that, what is the difference in cost to ship 7 cars versus 6 cars? Okay, again the same story. Let's see. If I focus at 1500, it is like change in C, change in Y, rise over run. Change in C over change in N. Change in C over change in N is 1. 1500 over 1. Okay. What does it mean? Change in N is the change in number of cars. So when number of cars increase by 1, the cost increases by 1500. Yes. So when cars increase by 1, when cars increase from 6 to 7, the cost will increase by 1500. Option C should be the right answer. Okay, perfect. I hope you are with me. Try this. T is this. Anna uses the equation above to determine the number of hours. T. So T is number of hours. F fine. To roast a pea pound turkey. And uh, the P is the amount of pound of turkey. Turkey means... Uh, you can say hen, chicken. How many more minutes would it take Anna to roast 13 pound turkey than 12 pound turkey? Again, the same kind of story, right? So if amount of turkey, amount of the weight of turkey changes by one, how much extra time would it take? Fine. Focusing at one over four, it is like gradient rise over run. Change in T over change in P. It means when time changes by, when time increases by 1, the number of pounds increases by 4. Okay. But we don't want that. We want number of pounds to be increased by 1. Okay. So what we will do, can, can we write it like this? Can we write it 0 0.25 over 1? Right. It means yes. When number of pounds increase by 1, the time increases by 0 0.25 hours. T was in terms of hours. So 0 0.25 hours means 1 fourth hour, which means 15 minutes. Right? I hope you understood guys. When number of pounds of turkey, when the weight increases by 1, the time increases by one fourth hour. One fourth hour means 15 minutes. Option C is the right answer. Next question. Magnetic field M. Okay, we don't know. We don't need to know what is magnetic field. We just need to deal with numbers. Magnetic field is M. And unit is micro Tesla. Very nice. At the center of loop of a current of C milliamps, okay, we don't need to know. By how many micro tes Tesla does the magnetic field change for a 1 milliamp, milliamp increase in current? Okay, what was milliamp? Milliamp was C. Okay. Can we rewrite this equation nicely by breaking the bracket? M equal to 
8 times 4.5 is 8 times 4 is 32 and 8 times half is 4 so 32 plus 4 is 36 you can use calculator to calculate not a worry minus 8 see so this is the equation i am breaking the bracket point to be noted is minus 8 is the gradient okay gradient means in this case rise over run so change in m over change in c okay change in m over change in c is minus 8 over 1 and uh, the question had said that magnetic field changes for 1 milliamp increase in current magnetic field was what magnetic field was m sorry uh, yeah they are asking how many micro teslas does the magnetic field change for 1 milliamp increase in current so current increases by 1 milliamp how much is the change in magnetic field so change in magnetic field is minus 8 okay you can say the magnetic field decreases by minus 8 option a should be the right answer hope it makes sense guys try this the cost c in dollars so c is the amount in dollars okay to the holder of a liability insurance account given a total liability of l dollars so l is the number of means l is the uh, liability in dollars is given by the equation as long as c is positive okay c is positive fine by how many dollars does the liability increase they're asking by how many dollars does the liability increase means they are asking the change in L is how much when the cost of holder increases by one dollar when change in C is one okay let's break the bracket first so C equal to 0 0.25 L minus 0 0.25 times minus 1200 would be one fourth and twelve hundred so minus three hundred anyway that is not so important important is this this information which will tell us between the change in l and change in c let me write it 0 0.25 is gradient means rise over run so change in c over change in l which is one 0 0.25 over one Question has said that cost increases by one dollar. So cost increases by one dollar means zero point two five over one. I would like to write it like this. Have a look. When cost increases by one dollar, how much is the change in liability? Question is asking. The change in liability is increased by four. So my answer should be four. Let's see. Hope you understood guys. We'll do one more set like this. Have a look at this question. Question is saying V equal to this much. Electric potential V. Okay. V is the electric potential in volts. No problem. Between two metal plates a distance of D millimeters. D is the distance in millimeters from the left plate is given by this equation okay and they said d lies from this to this by how many millimeters does the distance from left plate increase okay they are asking by how many millimeters does the distance from left plate increase means they are asking what is the change in d for the potential increase potential to increase by one volt when v changes by plus one they are asking what is the change in D no problem one third is the gradient which is change in V over change in D rise over run okay it means when there's a change in V by one
change in D is 3, so my answer should be very easy. It should be 3. Hope it makes sense, guys. Okay. Next question. Question is, with this equation, ceiling height h, h is the height in ceiling, in feet, okay. For a particular room in a house, a distance of d feet from the west wall, d is the distance of, uh, distance in feet from west wall. In order for the ceiling height to decrease by one foot, so they have said, ceiling height is decreasing by one foot means change in h is minus one. Why minus one? Because it is decreasing. How much, how much does the distance from west wall change in feet? So we have to find the change in d. Okay. Same story. Minus 0 0.125 is the gradient means rise over run so change in h over change in d is this now this can be written as this over one what does it mean it means that when h changes by this much minus this much so d changes by one okay question has given that h h value delta h value is minus one so it is nice if i would like to write it like this have a look I would like to convert this decimal as a fraction. So please see. Minus 125 over 1000 I am doing. We can simplify it further as well. Why am I doing that? Because they have given that delta H is not minus 125 or not minus 0 0.125. It is minus 1. So I am trying to simplify it. Okay. We know both numerator and denominator are divisible by 5. So, we'll divide them by 5. So, 25 and 200. Further dividing by 25, it is negative 1 over 8. So, yes, this simplifies to minus 1 over 8. Means, when delta H changes by minus 1, delta D will change by 8. And that's what the question is asking. Option B should be the right answer. It was a nice question, guys. Try this part. P is the price in dollars of a train ticket, okay? To travel a distance M miles, M is the distance in mile. Question is asking by how many miles does the traveling distance increase, okay? They are asking... By how many miles does the traveling distance increase means delta m increases by how much if the ticket price increases by one dollar so if change in in p is one then what is the change in m same story in fact this entire topic is all about this so two over five is rise over run so change in p over change in m okay Actually, they have said that change in P is 1, right? So, my job is to make this 2, 1. I don't want to see it as 2. So, for that, I have to divide both up and down by 2. So, I get 1 over 2.5, right? So, change in P over change in M is 1. Okay, yes, it means when P changes means price changes by $1, Delta M, the distance changes by 2.5 miles. And that's what the question is asking. By how many miles does the traveling distance increase? So yes, it will increase by 2.5 miles. Okay. Very nice. Try this. The temperature in Kelvin T, okay, T is the temperature in Kelvin, of a resistor, in a circuit s seconds okay s is the time in second after connecting a battery is given by this for how many seconds does the battery need to be connected for the temperature 
to increase by okay so temperature in, is increasing by 1 kelvin means delta t is plus 1 and they are asking for how many seconds does the battery need to be connected so they are asking delta s right what is the value of delta s okay same story 4 is equal to change in y means change in t over change in s 4 over 1 okay they have given that change in t is plus 1 so this is not 4 it should be plus 1 so what to do i will divide both up and down by 4 so i will get 1 divided by 1 fourth means 0 0.25 it means when delta T changes by 1, delta T changing by 1 means temperature changes by 1. So, delta S, the time changes by 0 0.25 seconds. And that's what they are asking. They are asking by how many seconds does the battery need to be connected when the temperature increases by 1 Kelvin. So, my answer is 0 0.25 seconds. Option A should be the right answer great very nice question okay s equal to this much fine uh, there is some law gustafson's law states that the speed up s of computation on p processes is given by equation where this 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 okay right right which of the following expression equals the increase in number of processes needed up for speed up to increase by 1? Okay. So, which of the following expression equals the increase in number of processes? Increase in number of processes needed for the speed up to increase by 1. Okay. So, delta S changes by 1 and they are asking which of the following is equal to delta P. Fine. Treating this as a linear equation, 1 minus alpha is like change in Y over change in X. In this case, change in S over change in P, rise over 1. Okay. So, this is 1 minus alpha over 1. But actually, delta S they have said is 1. So, we want to try this numerator as 1. So, what to do? We have to make delta S as 1 and it is 1 minus alpha. So, what to do? We will divide both up and down by 1 minus alpha. So, please have a look. 1 minus alpha divided by 1 minus alpha over 1 over 1 minus alpha. Why did we do that? So that my delta S value is 1. So 1 minus alpha over 1 minus alpha will become 1. Okay. And so my required answer for change in P should be 1 over 1 minus alpha. Option C should be the right answer. Let me check. That's great. Okay. So guys, I hope you understood this topic. Very soon we will be learning some other topic on SAT. Thank you.